Today on Toy Shiz, kick off the holiday season with some repaints. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys a couple new fresh looks. And today we are totally checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Rebirth Superman, and Ink as Batman Beyond. Of course, of which you're probably saying, well, that doesn't look like Ink. That looks like a repainted Batman Beyond. Well... Yeah, that's basically all it is. Now, apparently this comes from the comics, which I'm more in tune to Batman Beyond the cartoon, of course. Ink was Batman Beyond in one of the episodes, disappearing Ink for like a split second, of which she attacked Bruce Wayne, which of course that was the only time she ever looked like Batman Beyond, unless she was going in his mouth, and that's all kinds of weirdness, right? Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and find him. I found mine at Target Stores now along with this Rebirth Superman figure, which that is really not the costume I'm really excited about, to be quite honest with you. But I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, oh, okay, let's do this video proper. Superman Rebirth costume. Mm, we'll talk about this <laughs> in so many ways. Here's the barcode for him as well. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, this is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, Inc. as Batman Beyond, and the Rebirth Superman. And while I got all you repaints here, I just want to say thanks so much for checking out my video, and please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates, guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So we'll start it off with Batman Beyond, you get a bunch of hands you don't need, and you get actually an inked out Batman Beyond Batarang, which... The Batman Beyond figure, in all honesty, is very cool looking. You don't really see it until you got it up close, got the lights on, and you get to see all like the really cool inky blackness. That is ink. Kind of looks like Superman the Animated Series when they're in the Phantom Zone, although if it was like that color, you know, <laughs> that works, right? But I like the wings. I like the way they look. They're a little bit stylized in terms of Batman Beyond, like the cartoon. They're a little bit stylized like Jack Kirby, Kirby Crackle. This figure does everything every single Batman Beyond figure I've looked at thus far does in terms of articulation. I would have loved an alternate head. One of these would have done just fine. Just to have it be weird or have a weird ink-like appendage or an accessory or something. Because it's just a repaint. And unless you're a big fan of Batman Beyond, or, I mean, technically this is like one of the very first ink action figures minus Burger King, it's, it's just okay. It's just okay. It's not great. Yeah, we're getting some villains for Batman Beyond, but you want ink itself. You want all the Clayface type things going on. And yeah, this is... This is not even the third one. This is the fourth Batman Beyond. I haven't even found the more battle damage spellbound Batman Beyond yet. So this is numero quattro so far. And of course, technically, here are the two ladies of Batman Beyond thus far. You got the Batwoman Beyond and Ink, which leads us to Superman. This Superman has a absolutely fantastic head sculpt on him. Amazing. He's got the S and the hair and everything else. He's got a really nice symbol, but the boots, I don't know what's going on with the repaint there. They were just like, we don't have the right boots on him, so we'll just kind of fudge it in there, right? That does not look good. Everything else, for the most part, is okay. They didn't really paint the cuffs. Kind of has more like a shiny silver type cuff of his suit. But uh, yeah, the boots thing, that really irks me. That does not look good at all. And it really is kind of all of these Supermans in some way or another, mushed together, cape, body types, hands, the whole shebang. And then, yeah, you get the new Superman Rebirth. Boom, there he is, right? <laughs> Which, yes, if you're a fan of Rebirth Superman, he's not a bad looking Superman, but it's kind of hard to beat the whole Sunsoft Superman, the way I call it, original Superman 1000, whatever you want to say. That's a good looking Superman for the Rebirth. But I don't feel like the costume, fans of the costume, everything else, they're not done justice. It's just a simple repaint and not one done well. And yes, you could probably swap out the heads, but they're never easy to really swap out. And the hands, because now you got fisted hands on both sides, his pegs are entirely too big to fit in the hands. So this is one of those where you go, okay, 
do I really have to collect them all at this point? And the answer is no. And I'll be talking more about that later, just before the end of the year, because the idea of getting them all, especially in terms of, let's say, McFarlane toys, just for instance, because that's what we're talking about. These are two that, unless you're a big fan of Batman Beyond, it's kind of a pass. Unless you're a fan of the Superman Rebirth costume, it's kind of a pass. I don't really recommend either of these, to be quite honest with you. Although, I think it's fun that if they were to do a full-blown ink figure, that this would in fact be a cool figure to have. So that if you have ink and you go, oh, she morphed into Batman Beyond. Yes, technically she appeared as Batman Beyond for a split second in the old cartoon show. But other than that, yeah, it's a real toss-up. Not a fan of Superman Rebirth, other than the head. It's a good-looking head sculpt. Batman Beyond, I like it. But it's really not one that I absolutely needed. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these two new figures. Are they for you? Have you grabbed them? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, Spellbinder, Ian Peek, Mad Stan, Earth Mover, any of those characters. Make them into figures. All of them. Before we get another Batman Beyond. For the love of God. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.